Hey there, game makers, and welcome back to the 34th of remaking Hotline Miami in the original engine Game Maker. And I thought, like, hey, because uh, a lot of guys actually watched my videos to quite a big extent, which is a big thank you from my side, of course. And some of you actually bought the uh, the project. So on each dollar, I thought, like, hey, a big thank you from my side. And I thought, like, hey, just you know, if there's interest in this kind of stuff, I can make a few more videos on that here so a common issue which i had here and this is kind of a, <laughs> a pretty annoying one so let's say you got this guy following you and then he's doing some annoying twitching like here so as you can see he's kind of um well he destroyed his spleen or <laughs> all the other stuff by you know doing like uh, I don't know, almost 330 turns in like less than a second. So basically, this is definitely not healthy. And so second of all, it doesn't look natural. So let's actually fix it. And just for explanation here, this website here, I will of course, link, it, uh, link in the description below, has the answer. This is then definitely more going through what's actually happening. I just give you the short version, the short not to explain version, but if you want to check out the whole article, highly recommend it. Um, do it now. So basically what we are having here, so let's say our dude is going in this specific direction. And once again, just for quick explanation, this is how the well angles are being normalized. So let's say to the right it's zero and then 90 is uh, upwards and 100 and so on. So basically let's say this dude is, if he's pointing like this, he's in between here. So it's like, I don't know, 300 something. And then for example, if the target is, let's say, something like this, then the numbers are not 20, 15. So normally you would expect, okay, so if he's just loping, he would go like this. But no, he's actually doing <laughs> that part. Why is that? Because the numbers. So just <laughs> because um, you just have to imagine his numbers like 320 and he has to lerp to, well, 15 then the logical thing is just go in between number to do and do it like this counterclockwise instead of the natural part which would be doing like this towards the target um, direction which is kind of annoying so we're just gonna um, do a few changes and then uh, it will be not no bueno it will be super bueno so let's actually check this out so this is how we did it last time once again, this is long-minded for explanation because I guess the last time that I uploaded the video, uh, that was like a year ago, whatever. So here, this is the uh, absolute direction. So this is where the target is. And our um, pathfinding, which we did in the previous videos, actually just is automatically overwriting the direction, just putting it, well, uh, well just changing the, the value of this one. And then here, this is our image angle. This is our fake to be lobbed in between. So this is how we get to the point where we want to be. And therefore this is kind of a fake drawing. So we don't instantly turn around. We just, you know, delay it towards the absolute direction here. So this is for just for explanation. Sadly, we have to do this here. Choo -choo. Comment it out because, well, we don't want it. Then second of all, we have uh, also the image angle changed here. Nope go away and now we just have to create a script which i already did here so let's pretend it's not here <laughs> but of course you will see like ah oh, it's still in cache so we just create a new script can't do whatever you like it doesn't really matter then set the angle and now we need to do a few lines of code i will just copy and paste them in there so you just uh, uh, see what's actually happening uh looks a little convoluted but should be not not too much of expanding from my side i just want to have uh, this working properly so first of all we're just checking like hey the current angle minus the direction and then if this value is bigger than 180 so we do a big turnaround then we have to um see like hey who's bigger so basically our current one or the direction and if the, the current one is bigger then we set a variable which are called angle set to this kind of code or if, if the direction is bigger we set it to this kind of code it's basically just minus one um, additionally uh, being uh, multiplied to it and then we actually change our image angle which we are lurping once again between our direction which we did before but here now the angle set 
if we are below 180, so the difference between the angle difference is uh, lower than that. So here with absolute, so it's below 180. We just, you know, use the old one and nothing changes. So here, this is variable is just getting changed. If we go here and then we need to go, uh, well, on that part or on that part, depending well who of you guys is bigger, and then we just apply it. A little thing, for example, this technically does work most of the time, but you will see a little bit something like this. So this is my additional adding. So here, run, 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 then walking around. He does correctly turn around, which is great. And then he's doing disco. <laughs> this is not what we want. So for that, we just say like, hey, angle set is getting clamped between zero and three, uh, 59, which is great. And therefore, um, this will remedy the issue and then it will look like this. So let's try it again. Come on, follow us, dude. Last position, huh. enemy is gone and then correctly turning around, which is great. So that does work and no issues here. Alrighty, that was it then from my side. Hopefully that was of use to you because that was kind of a, a big nut to crack to be honest. That was not easy and see you in the next one. Have a good one. Once again, thanks you for watching or for getting the, well, the project file or both. One up indie.